on one spark for 45 seconds. Well, stay on one spark. When I move them around, it's going to harp for 45 seconds, okay? When the 45 seconds have passed, I'm going to go switch legs, and he gets my leg, and I harp for 45 seconds. Okay, when I say switch legs, I have his other leg, 45 seconds. Then I'm going to switch legs again, and he has my leg for 45 seconds. Now I'll take this to three minutes, then I'll let you be nice and loose. I want you to partner with somebody, similar weight, similar height. Hi, <laughs> A bit faster. We're gonna work some uh, we're gonna work some wrestling based stuff today. So we're gonna work some singles. Okay? We're gonna start working from our collar tight, inside tight position. So when I say inside tight, we've got the inside position on our partner. So I'm gonna so imagine me layering our wrestling stances. When we're wrestling, we're pretty low. Okay, because we don't, if I'm too high and Blaine, Blaine's quite low, he's got an easy entry on my leg, so I want to match his level. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in with my collar tie. I like to collar tie on my backhand, and I'll just go club here. And I want to get it inside tight. See how my arm's inside of his arm here. Realistically, what I can do as, he, as I collar tie, I enter in both arms, so I've got both inside ties here. Okay, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk towards this side. And I'm going to let go of this arm, I'm going to step and I'm going to reach for this leg as I drive to my knees. Okay? And I really want you to reach for this leg here. The reason why I'm walking away from it, because if I walk towards it, he's always going to move away from it. <coughs> so it's always going to be further away. As I go towards this side, this side's easy to get, and it's quite easy for me to shoot in on this leg because it's already coming towards me. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hook it with one arm at the minute. Okay? So, we've got uh, collar tie, inside tie, okay? I just want you to walk away from the leg you want to go for, and then from here, I'm going to drive over my knee, reach for the leg, and sort of spin onto both knees to him. Okay? That's all I want us to do so far. Is everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a go. Now, the finishes tend to happen, not so much what you want to get, but what your opponent gives you. Sometimes, like, it depends on their layers of defense. Like, we'll look at the first initial one when he doesn't defend at all, which is one of their easiest go-tos, and then we'll start looking at when he's a little bit more intelligent and starts defending properly. Okay? Come here with Blaine. So, when I get this leg, for one, so I'm going to be here, I'm going to move around, I'm going to go here, boom, now I'm here. Now, I'm then going to connect both hands together, and I'm going to drive forward. I'm going to use my head first to come up, and I want to push his weight into this leg. Boom. Now I'm here in the single leg position. Now, if you notice, Brian hasn't done anything with his arms. He's just like stroking my head a little bit. Which means I can hit my first attack. All I'm going to do, I'm going to bump, and I'm going to catch his heel. Then I lift. Okay? This can come up here, and then you've got my shoulder leg. Take him down to the floor. Okay? Because he's not doing anything to stop me from pulling that leg all the way up. That's always going to be my first line of attack. Sometimes, if they're not very flexible, you can just literally lift the leg up and it will drop them straight away. Other times, you have to hold them and point them, trip the leg out, whatever. But as soon as you get the leg higher, it's harder for him to keep his balance. Okay? So we'll go again. So all we're here. Move around. Boom. We're up. Start pushing with my head. Coming up here. I want you to bump with the shoulder, I want you to catch his heel with your hand. So easy when they got got wrestling shoes on. I'm going to bump, catch the heel, and then pull up with both hands. This chops, this comes up. If you can get the back of your head great, sometimes you might not be that flexible. Knee, turn. And then you can control him from here. Okay, in my submission grappling rule set, from the rule set, you need to take him down and stand on top of him for three seconds to score your points. Okay, if you've got one leg in the air, it's quite hard for me to get back up. So, uh, we'll do that one more time. The, the reason why I'm grabbing the heel 
I see sometimes people will go and go to do this. Blank will just turn his knee down to the floor and limp leg. Like if you just if you just control my leg very well, I'm already getting my leg out. But if he grabs my heel, I can't turn because it's going to rip my own knee out, and that's when I'm going to be in danger. Okay? So let's work this with your partners. Don't be idiots and drop each other's arms as you can. Unless you're done. Okay? Let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna want to whizzer him. Go on, so I'm gonna whizzer. What that does is it eliminates the threat of the first takedown because it's really hard for him to get that space to lift my leg up. Do what we just done. It's harder. Which but because I'm sticking myself to him, it presents uh, different take downs that are available. So this is like first stage offense. What we're going to do, I'm going to grab the leg and he's with me, yeah? One thing I really want you to make sure that you do when you're in the single leg position is, is keep your head up. If your head is down, if my head's not my single leg, and his head is looking down, it's really easy just to push his head down and get my leg out. It's important to keep your head up like you're doing a squat or a deadlift. When I have the leg, I'm here. So if Blaine tries to push my head down, no. Okay? No. <laughs> He's got more wizardry in. I'm bending my knees and I'm flexing at the hip. I'm going to take a step back with this leg and I'm going to drop my shoulder and try to look between my own legs. Yeah. Okay? So this is what we call the dump. So we're here. There. Okay? Sometimes if he keeps his balance, you might have to do more than one step. As long as your feet don't come together across, you want to keep going like that, yeah? You don't want to ever go up and try and twist him over your legs and you'll fall over yourself. So I want to go, so say, keep his balance to the floor. Like that, okay? There you go. They'll lean forward a lot, so it's hard to get sat down. So what we're going to look to do instead is look to take it back, so they're giving the back up quite easily. Lots of people will take the wizard out as well. If they take the wizard out, it's, it's we're definitely going to take the back because they're they're removing the only thing that's stopping me from taking the back. So if I'm here with Blaine, I'm going to dump him. Pull. My arm comes here. I shook him. I take the back. Okay. If he's going to keep his balance, he's near enough he needs to take that wizard out because that wizard after the jump is like his death sentence. Okay? So if you're to keep his balance, he has to be like, whoa, both my arms need to shoot forward. Okay? If he keeps the wizard in, keep the wizard in. He's going down. Okay? When he takes that wizard out, pull. Here, arm comes around. I want to bump him and then take his back. Now from here, now I've got the back, I'm just going to bring my knee in front. Drive him down to the mat. Okay, so you set the back position and lock his knee forward and just shove him down to the mat. We go again. See how I'm shoving him forward there? Yeah. Now my knee comes in front of his knee. I just drive my weight. So I'm stretching him out to the mat. Because your arm over or under his right arm? Both arms are underneath his arms. Underneath his arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. See that in the last bit of technique? Oh, last bit of technique. <laughs> 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 You know the score. What we're going to do, we're going to start from that single leg position where we're on the floor. We're going to start with both knees on the floor here. 
And then he's going to tap one or two times to my back. That starts our little match. My job is to take him down and hold him down for three seconds. His job is to either escape completely or get on top of me and hold me down for three seconds. Whoever scores the point for he escapes. Okay, so like, for example, you can just escape and push your leg down. Okay, play down. Okay, he's got a point now. Well, he, he's won that one and we swap. Yeah, and then he goes here. He could also take me down from this with a character. Come on. Well, he hasn't took me down yet. It's going to be three seconds. Ah. <laughs> three seconds, okay? Shoulders on the mat. We're going to go, yeah, well. Back on the mat. Take down, yeah? yeah? As long as he's taking me down, I'm not getting up. You get up on the undertake. Not the undertake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 well, we go one for one. Oh, so Grab your partners. Yeah. Three minute round, let's go. Let's go see a few new faces back down. Uh, look at James, take a picture of us and we'll go down the line. Ha! 